Welcome to our continuing series of interviews with international business leaders discussing the impact of the coronavirus crisis. COVID-19 is forcing companies to speed up their digital transformation, pushing them to adopt digital solutions internally and externally that would only be possible under these circumstances. Telecommuting, virtual events, cloud computing, on-demand food and services are just a few eras illustrating the massive shift as a response to the coronavirus pandemic. Digital transformation was certainly a buzzword in business. It is now a vital means of survival. As an illustration of this phenomenon, I'm speaking today to Camille Charmark. Camille is based in Prague and he's the chairman of the board and the chief executive officer of the energy services company Chess Esco. The uh, Esco is, let's say, the green part, let's say the Chess meaning that we are doing the new decentralized energy, having 23 companies all over the former Czechoslovakia, from south of Bohemia into the east of Slovakia. And it's in principle, they are small and medium companies. Of course, we do feel an impact. In the same time, I have to say that still we are trying to pump the energy into our client, into ourselves as well. So we do feel, let's say, some consequences into our businesses. Not so dramatic at the moment, but let's see what will be final end of the day, especially in the coming economic crisis, of course. Yes, absolutely, because in, in the same time we are not just doing, let's say, the new modern green energy and the renewable sources and e-mobility, but we are also selling the energy. And then we do feel, of course, the, we do feel that the Skoda Auto is simply closed the factory and many factories as well. So this is something which we really do feel and we really need that, let's say, this curve, let's say, economy will be simply going up and will be open, these factories, which in this country, I have to say, and in Slovakia, hopefully as well, will happen very soon. But still, we are, let's say, slightly optimistic. Actually, the, the Chess Esco holding is about, as I, as I uh, told you, about 23 companies, so let's say, all over the former Czechoslovakian territory, having 3,000 employees, and the last year uh, EBITDA is, let's say, about 40 million euros. We are doing from, let's say, classical co generations to all renewable sources, especially the solar power plants, accumulation, electromobility. We are number one in this country, in Slovakia. We are strategic partner of Skoda Auto in that. We are doing the energy saving projects, so being the big saving projects for big hospitals, cities, uh, villages, factories, so many different businesses, simply HVAC segment, so I mean the cooling uh, air conditions and these stuff, so many different businesses under one umbrella and one brand. We decided as a board that we will be every single day in the offices and show to the people simply that management is with them and we are on the, let's say, on the, on the captain's bridge because this was a very important signal that we are really working every day and we are trying to really keep the continuity of the business and, and making kind of energy among the people because people were really shocked on the beginning of the crisis, our employees, of course, either. So this was very important. I believe that we showed the leadership. We were in connection every day with the guys and we made a lot of feedbacks from them, what they need all over the, let's say, the territory of two countries. Immediately, we created for our clients a lot of, let's say, tolerance in the billing, in the payment systems, because they were really hurt dramatically, especially the factories and small villages and Vista. So we made a lot of, let's say, tolerance and uh, specific tools to the clients regarding, let's say, the customer comfort, special customer line, by the way, which was not easy because most of the company, uh, employees were at the home offices. So we created why digital, thanks for that, the digital economy allows us to make a lot of virtual call centers at home with our, with our employees that they were able to every day approach the customers which are needed mainly from the corporate, public and SME sectors. So due to that, we have right now, let's say, new, new digital tools which we created almost, almost all the night how to communicate better with the customers. We made, let's say, a lot of new communication tools among the employees and how to get the feedback immediately to the top management, CEO included. So a lot of, let's say, things I would like to build into the company management even after the vendor crisis hopefully will disappear. A lot of people probably will stay with their home, home 
place, home, uh, home places and home offices for a long time and maybe forever because we right now, based on this lesson, we created a new wave of digitalization of the company and optimization by you as well because openly, yes, in the new wave of economic crisis, which definitely will come at least for some year, we need to be better with the cost, cost savings and optimization and home offices is one of them. Very, very strong pressure will be for the digitalization and digital communication tool. So this is something yeah, which will probably stay built into the company. Thank you.